do you have a problem or do you have an idea where the line is between that healthy seeking and egotism? Because it seems like it, it, it becomes, you can get trapped in an egotistical trap where you become self-obsessive in an unhealthy way. So do you, do you have any like uh, experiences or ideas into the difference between the things? Oh yeah. That's a good point actually. Yeah. And as a, to your, as you started your point with it, Peter Gabriel singing the carpet crawlers, you got to get in to get out. Um, the problem is this leads to spiritual bypassing as talks in Eastern traditions where you just want to escape society and be the man in the mountain and other things. And this could manifest in being a guru, or as you said, being self-absorbed. The key, especially with Gnosis, and people miss this, is that you're not meant to be just a god. You're, me you're meant to be fully human. And a fully human individual is an amazing being, a being of insight, a being that follows its instinct, a being that does the best he can and embraces all the wonderful ethics and morals that have been passed down by great thinkers in the past. So to be a fully human being also means to be a fully empath. I mean, that's what um, the Gnostics thought and the Hermetics that uh, we had the mind of God. So we were a we were like the word in the Gospel of John. We were creating we were our imagination could do better than the reality was there and leave something better. In fact, uh, William Blake, uh, he associated Gnosis with imagination. It's what made us amazing. Now, Philip K. Dick took it a step further and said it's not even it's not imagination also entails empathy. The ability, any creator or artist loves what it's doing, loves the audience it has, and is deeply engaged in the world. So at the end of the day, you know you're on the right path when you're full of empathy, when you realize, as, the, as many great religious figures, that you're here to not escape the wheel, but help others either escape the wheel or deal with reality or give them a better world alleviate their pain and whatever you can so that's definitely an ingredient is the the imagination and the empathy towards all creatures all sentient creatures on this planet so instead of just uh i'm gonna escape and it's all about my expanded consciousness no i mean any creature out there understands its role in the universe and we human beings, one of our roles is that we help each other. We don't have claws, we don't have armor, we don't have feathers. We're kind of limited of what we have. Uh, we're not very strong like gorillas, so we can reason.